Yay, we're live, bonjour. Today we are gonna do a really fun elixir. It is called CBD Blue Magic Milk. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of the ingredients so you can get your ingredients ready or see if you have any in your pantry. I have Blue Magic Powder. Um, one of the companies that makes it is uh, E3 Live. Uh, you can get on Amazon or at one of your local markets if they have it in stock. Uh, I'm also going to use CBD and it's um, been extracted in coconut oil for this one. This one is a thousand milligrams. Um, so in the recipe we'll use a few droppers. And then also for this beautiful blue hue, I don't know if you can see my ice cubes that I made with this tea a little bit earlier today. This is butterfly pea flower tea. What's nice about this, you can drink this any time of day. It's not, it's not caffeinated at all. It's like a beauty food tea. It's amazing for your hair and skin. It's full of antioxidants. I love, love, love this tea. So I'm just gonna show you that. Um, and also I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this tea just to continue. Um, so the butterfly pea flower, so yes, yeah, so this was traditionally used to treat uh, different types of pain, inflammation, and it also helps with um, different eye issues. But before they melt, cause it's super hot, it's my sauna kitchen here. I'm just gonna put these in my lemonade. I have a detox lemonade that I'm drinking. And I just want you to see some color changing happening. I don't know if you can see. And then with the ice cubes, it's slowly starting to change color. And then I'm also gonna add a shot of this tea that I just brewed. You can brew it hot or cold and uh, you'll start to see it changing colors. It changes colors as the pH changes. Uh, but we'll play a little bit more with this later, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of science really quick. Oh, this is nice. It's lemonade uh, that I made with just lemon, honey, some cayenne, and then now I've got this blue butterfly pea flower tea, which we'll be using in our nut milk today. Just add a little bit more. Oh, look at this pretty hue. This is lemonade. Amazing. Yeah, I could drink this all day, every day, uh, especially when it's such a hot climate like it is in St. Bart. Um, you're always drinking all these teas. Um, I usually just brew them either the night before or in the morning and then um, this is like room temperature. It's not like ice cold. You don't want to drink something that's ice cold because it's hard to digest. But um, yeah, this is just cool, refreshing. And anyway, I'll be drinking this while I'm going through this fun recipe with you. So I don't know if you can see in my pot, but I've got the butterfly pea flower tea that I started um, just 20 minutes ago, not, not too long ago. So it doesn't take very long. If you wanted to do a cold brew, you could just um, put it in your fridge for 12 hours and it will also turn this beautiful purplish blue hue. So if you're in the sun, yeah, you'll see like this iridescent color change happening between the blues and purples. It's really gorgeous. So I'm just gonna show you the ingredients really quick. I'll, I'll just start warming it so that we can get our ingredients simmering. So we're gonna use cinnamon bark. If you can see, let me take it out of here. I'm just gonna use like a few pieces of this cinnamon bark that I got actually from an Indian market. But um, yeah, if you find this at your local market, this is great. Um, I try to avoid using the the little the cinnamon powders because um, you're not getting as much of the nutrient as you would in the whole form. Uh, with as many of my dishes as possible, I'll either use them whole or um, like let's say I'm using cardamom, the green cardamom, which we'll be using as well. Like I'll just um, grind, like open it with the knife and then just use the seeds in my spice grinder and then I'll grind them into powder. And I'll um, answer any questions a little bit later. I think some of your videos are pausing. It could be the internet, but if you have trouble following along live, uh, the video will play another 24 hours. And I'll try to slow down a little bit in case some of the dialogue gets missed live. Because I get excited and I talk a little fast. And I'm like, oh my god, it's exciting. Anyway, green cardamom. Here, I'll just put the pods here that you can see. So we'll use these two. So I'm going to just put these in to the tea, the cinnamon bark. And then with the pods, I'm just going to um, grab a 
grab a knife and just um, just crack them open because we really want the seeds from here. That is important. And if you're in my kitchen right now, you can just smell this fresh cardamom. It's incredible. So cardamom, uh, yeah, it's it's got this amazing ability to calm the gut, uh, and um, it's just it's one of those amazing herbs. Um, I've been reading this book called Healing Spices, Healing Spices, which I highly recommend. It, it just breaks down each herb and goes over the medicinal qualities, and then the cinnamon for that nutritional value. Um, it balances your blood sugar, which is amazing, and it also has the ability to fight the um, the the bad bacteria, the disease-causing bacteria and fungi, which is great. So that's cinnamon. The ginger, um, you could just take like a a spoon to peel off some of the skin, but um, just a little bit so you can microplane. And if it's organic, you can actually um, use it skin on. And then I'm just going to grade this into the um, tea, but you can't see it, so I'll just grate it here into this bowl, and then I'll, I'll uh, put it directly into the tea. And in a lot of my dishes, I just um, I grade the ginger up finely because uh, I tend to cook a lot of Indian dishes at home, and it just cooks really um, evenly, and then you don't get like these chunks of ginger. It's just a nice way to prepare it, and then you can also get juice of the ginger very quickly um, just by squeezing it together if, if you don't have a juicer or if you don't want to like pull out your juicer just for you know juicing ginger and then we'll just put that directly in oh, it smells so good and ginger is amazing for digestion uh, i love it first thing in the morning when i stopped drinking coffee i used to take uh ginger cilantro shots and that's how i got rid of my addiction to coffee um, I would do two ounces of ginger and one ounce of cilantro, and uh, it just gets me going in the morning. Um, or in the middle of the day, when it gets a little bit warm, like now, it's amazing. Just, I put it in my drinks, or just drink ginger water, even. It's amazing for digestion. I'm just going to put a couple of dates. Um, these, if you have, like, really firm, like, dry dates, just soak it in some water, or... Um, We'll just put it directly and make sure it's pitted because we don't want the pit. We're gonna put strain this and put it in our blender right after. So put those dishes aside. And then we're just gonna add a few more of the uh, of the tea leaves. This is so it's gonna be a total of uh I just put 10 tea leaves in, and then for the amount of water I did um I did about 24 ounces. So like I did like a larger mason jar size. This one's just half that, so I'm just gonna put the rest of these beautiful flowers in here. And then for our um, adaptogen, today I chose ashwagandha. Um, I'll show you a few of my superfoods in a moment, but uh, this one's amazing. Uh, it just helps to build a strong immune system. It uh, it helps to add harmony to the mind, and uh, it adds like hormonal balance, and it helps reduce stress it's it's wonderful it, it it basically it has the ability to help your body to adapt to stress so an adaptogen so i um took out the powder here and i did uh like what did i do um you could use like three to four grams of this so i'm gonna put that directly in and just a little pinch of sea salt and then on the side I have uh, my soaked almonds. I did one cup, which is about 125 grams of raw almonds, and I just soaked it in filtered water overnight. Uh, I mean, I, I try to do it for a minimum of eight hours. It just helps to get rid of the um, enzyme inhibitor that makes the nut hard to digest. You're gonna find this in seeds and nuts and legumes, so you, you always wanna you always want to soak your nut first. So I'm just going to rinse it out really quick. And um, I'm going to put it directly into my blender. So just rinse this really fast. You always want to re-rinse your... Um, 
You always want to re-rinse your um, nuts or seeds that you're using. It, uh, you don't want to use the same water that it's soaked in, so I'm just re-rinsing, putting that into our blender directly. And then, now that that's had a chance to brew, I'm just going to pour, strain it directly into the um, pitcher here, the blender. And it's a little hot, so we're just going to let it cool, so I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit more while it's cooling down. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to, um, and see, it's, I don't know if you can see too well, but it's about like a, a thumb size or an inch, the liquid above the nuts. I like mine thick and fatty and creamy, so I like to, um, I, I don't do as much liquid as, as some chefs might like to do. Some, some people will put lots of liquid, but um, my son loves to drink nut and seed milk, so I usually like it to be creamy and thick and a little bit fattier, so good healthy fats. So we'll let that sit for a moment. Meanwhile, let me clean my mise en place. And don't forget your blue magic powder. I'm gonna add that last once it cools. And then let me just make sure you have measurements and see if there's any questions so far. Looks like I'm having a bad connection on my end. Welcome to St. Bart's. <laughs> so, so pretty. Any questions yet? Okay, not yet. Okay, that's good. So, so elixirs, as far as like when to have them, I like to start my day um, with, a, with a hot lemon water. And um, I'll usually drink it in one of my fun ceramic cups. And it's a nice time to start journaling and getting ready for the day, like just writing down some thoughts on what you're grateful for. And then as I'm finishing that, like I'll just kind of go through my pantry and see what superfoods or adaptogens or um, what, what speaks to me for that morning. Like, okay, um, like I feel like I could use a little bit more energy. So then maybe I'll choose some cordyceps, which I put in the little ice cubes that I showed you earlier. Like I want to be super woman today, so we'll do a little cordyceps or wow, I'm like really hyped up. Like maybe we need to calm down a little bit with CBD. So this one comes as a spray and it's a mint form. So that one just take a little spray and then it just kind of calms you down. Also helps you to sleep at night. Also nice if you have any joint pain or anything, very helpful for that. Um, so that's an option. Or, um, <laughs> this is fun. This one, um, Medicinal Foods makes, it's called the Love Tonic. And it's like, it nourishes the feminine. So for all the ladies out there, amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, this is one that I'll just do, you know, when you wanna just kind of enhance that femininity. Um, it's got uh, white, white peony, asparagus root, uh, schisandra, so many incredible herbs see that but in my notes when I post this I'll make a list of some of my favorites and then turkey tail amazing amazing uh, immunity booster it's a medicinal mushroom um, this one in particular Paul Stamets host defense it rocks um, like I'll put that in one of my warm elixirs or tonics this is like my daily immune support, it's got maybe, God, how many mushrooms? Cordyceps, reishi, mataki, lion's mane, chaga. Lion's mane is, is really helpful if you're feeling a little spacey or you just wanna like really think clearly like you're, you're writing a book or uh, preparing a presentation or something. Um, lion's mane is excellent for focus. So, so it has all these in my little daily immune tincture by host defense that's something um four sigmatic it's a 10 different mushroom blend so yeah i just kind of see how i'm feeling in the morning and see what i need um in terms of my elixir to get that extra boost so with that being said i'm just gonna start blending our lovely milk and then let's just add a little bit of the um blue magic powder and then after we blend it, we're gonna strain it with this 
fancy nut bag. You could use cheesecloth too. It doesn't have to be a nut bag, but um, the nut mag, the nut bags are nice. Um, you can get those on Amazon. Um, God, God bless Amazon, right? Like, so here, we'll just start blending this really quick. And then we will strain it, taste it, enjoy. And then, gosh, look at this pretty hue, meanwhile. Okay, we're blending. Let me see if there's any questions, meanwhile. Okay, bad connection, yes. I need to work on, I need to check our internet. So, you know, even depending on parts, different, different parts of the island where we live, sometimes we just have days where the internet's bad. So if it continues, I'll just shoot this ahead of time and then share this video with you. If it's like a, if it's a really bad connection. So, okay, so we're just gonna pass this through the nut, the nut bag here. And, uh, okay. And I was cooking at this, uh, retreat recently in Encinitas and, uh, this was probably one of the most popular drinks. I don't know if it's because it has CBD in it, but um, people just were raving about it. They're, they were like asking about the nut milk itself even. They're like, wow, did you make the nut milk? Like so many people, like, I mean, it's so easy to just buy it off the shelf now, but um, my son can tell the difference. It's so funny. Like, like we'll make um, chia pudding, which, which I'll show you in a second. This is also great. Um, if you have extra, like you just drink the milk and maybe you don't want it and you want to save it for later, then you can make a, a chia pudding with it. So I'll show you that in a moment. Okay. And with the extra pulp, um, don't throw that away. You could put it in the dehydrator and make a really nice flour with it. You can, um, dry it in the dehydrator, grind it into a flour, and make some delicious cookies or crackers, things like that. So I'll put the rest of the um, Blue Magic Powder in here. And then we'll just give it a nice whisk. Or you could just put it directly into the blender again. And that's it. That's our CBD Blue Magic milk. Other than the internet, <laughs> do we have any questions? I think the internet is a, having a poor signal. So we will, if it's really bad, I'll try and reshoot this and post it later. So. Feel free to mess message questions later. So, okay. And here we are. Some creamy milk. Yummy. Okay. Here we are. CBD Blue Magic Milk. You could put any type of garnish that you'd like. You could put some rose petals is pretty. Um, if you wanted to make a chia pudding. Do I have any chia seeds here? I don't. Probably because my son ate all of my supply. But if you have chia seeds, you could just um, you could just fill up like a if you have a little measuring cup, like a little, one tablespoon of chia seeds, and then put one fourth of a cup of the liquid, and you have chia pudding. You could have a blue magic chia pudding. <laughs> I'm gonna make that for him shortly. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next week. Bisous. Mwah.